Oh! Oh. Uh. I got it. Alright guys, Llama Pen here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to reverse hit. This has gone kind of under the radar in terms of brand new features added to NHL 22, but it is in my opinion one of the coolest things EA has ever added to the series, so I figured I'd give you guys an in-depth tutorial here. You might have seen in the controls for the game, reverse hit slash brace while in a glide, press X. You probably also noticed the trait back at you in EASHL, and like me, you probably got curious about these so-called reverse hits. Contrary to belief though, you do not actually need the back at you trait to reverse hit. It's now just a mechanic of the game that anybody can do, but I will say having the trait on certainly makes reverse hitting much easier and more effective. I initially saw the reverse hit used on Reddit by my boy Boots McGee, so I figured I'd shout him out, and with the help of some friends and some videos online, I was able to figure out how to lay guys out while carrying the puck. So to do the reverse hit, you'll want to grab possession of the puck, skate, let go of the left stick to go into a glide, and then press X on PlayStation or A on Xbox when your opponent skates up to you. And you should, at the very least, bump them away from you, and at best, yeah. knock them to the ice. Oh, let's go. Timing definitely does factor into this, as pressing the button too early or late will result in nothing happening or just you getting knocked over yourself. So try to press X right as your opponent comes into contact with you for the best result. There's also some other ratings factors that are going to affect your results, which I imagine include strength, balance, and possibly body checking ratings. Obviously, if you're 5'7", 160 pounds, and you try to reverse hit someone who's much bigger and stronger than you, you probably aren't going to be knocking anybody over. I've found that the power forward and enforcer builds are best at reverse hitting, but other bigger builds like the grinder, defensive D-man, and enforcer D-man would probably work fine as well. Oh, not this dude. <laughs> like I said, I experimented with throwing reverse hits with and without the back at your trait with the same enforcer build, and there was a noticeable difference. If you're just learning how to do reverse hits and aren't comfortable with it yet, I definitely recommend using the enforcer or enforcer defenseman builds, as they're the only builds with back at you available as a zone ability. Now, every build has back at you uh, available as a superstar ability, but I like having the zone ability uh, to use almost like training wheels as the trait is going to light up when it's being used and this is helpful when getting the timing down. Another good way I found to practice reverse hitting is to go into practice mode, go 1v3, pick a very strong big player, put them up against the worst weakest players on the team and then go up and down the ice hitting guys until you get the timing down. Here I used Ovechkin and it was a blast. The reverse hit isn't necessarily the smartest or best play to make. You almost always lose balance at least a little bit, lose the puck for a second, and you might even get stunned just as much as your opponent, which can lead to dangerous turnovers. Also keep in mind that if your opponent isn't really playing aggressive and going for hits, and maybe just sitting back and poke checking, you're not going to be able to reverse hit them. And keep in mind that if your opponent goes for a hip check on you, you will not be able to reverse hit them. I try to target yeah, the nice smaller dude. skaters who play yeah. aggressive and uh, specifically try to catch them off guard. So remember that if you're going up against opponents as big or bigger than you, there's a good chance you aren't going to do much with a reverse hit. I find it's best in situations in the offensive zone, in the corners, behind the net, when those pucks are contested, or just when you know you're about to get hit anyway. It can be a good counter to keep possession of the puck and take an unsuspecting opponent out of the play. So, anyway guys, that's my reverse hit tutorial. You gotta go online and try this one out, whether it's HUT, EASHL, or Versus. Um, you can even go in ones. I found that's a good way to, to practice reverse hitting, but definitely try this one out, guys. It's super fun and satisfying when you get someone knocked over. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. You just hit a reverse hit! Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs>